Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Sean Rohde with JDS Industries. I'm going to show you a tool called the Dodge and Burn tool. And this is a tool that uh, also is, exists in Photoshop, but we're going to use Corel Paint today. Uh, and this is Corel Paint X7. The Dodge and Burn tool is a tool that you can use to highlight uh, or darken areas of, of a photograph in specific areas. And so you can see this picture here it doesn't have a lot of contrast between the plane in the foreground and the mountains in the background. So I want to adjust the image quality uh, using dodge and burn, but I also want to do it separately. So I want to, I want to adjust the plane separate from the background. So to do that we're going to use uh, a freehand mask tool as well. The first thing I want to do, is because this is a grayscale image, I want to check to make sure it is in fact in grayscale mode. And it is because we can see that this is uh, grayed out. So I'm going to take and zoom in a little bit here. And we're just going to do a quick mask. Um, you'll want to take your time when you do a mask just to make sure you get all the edges uh, accurate. But for this tutorial, we're going to move a little quickly. So just uh, use your freehand mask tool. Uh, again, there's a lot of different masks in here. Um, but the one we're going to use today is the freehand mask. Just start on any point on the aircraft uh, or for whatever object you happen to be masking. And I'm going to move around this area here. The dodge and burn tool has its roots in uh, photography back when you had to develop film. They would shine a light through the negative uh, onto a developing paper and uh, originally they would do a test just to see how the photo would turn out. Um, if they saw some areas that might be problematic then they would use some tools um, like a piece of construction paper, something opaque that they could put in between the light and the and the developing paper to adjust how much light uh, exposed the paper, and they would uh, just wave the wave their tool over certain areas to prevent overexposure. So what we're going to do today is similar, but in a digital format. So after I get this, uh, and I'm just going to click. Uh, you want to be careful if you click around. Uh, rounded objects um, to get a nice tight rounded edge. Um, this is not the best uh, selection. You want to take your time and probably zoom in a little bit if you're doing this to get uh, a perfect selection. And again, we're going to do this fairly quickly. Again, we're using X7. The tool for this dodge and burn tool is not located in your toolbar. Um, right off. Uh, indirectly you're going to be using the effect tool to find this, which is in your toolbar, but I'll show you how where to exactly find this tool when we finish masking this plane off here. And once we're done, or once I've reached the other side of this plane, we're just going to double click and that will that will have our entire object selected. And then we'll copy and paste it into a new layer. Okay, so once we're back where we started, double click, and now we have the plane selected. Now I'm going to copy, which is Control C, and paste Control V, and that adds the plane on its own layer. So if I remove, or not remove, but uh, click on the little eye here for the background, which so we can't see that anymore, you can see that this is now copied onto its own layer. I'm going to make a du duplicate of this layer here. And so that we can, uh, so I can show you the, what the original results uh, look like after we're done here. All right, so let's go back to our object layer. To use the dodge and burn tool, and I'm going to unhighlight these or un unview these. So we just have the plane here. The dodge and burn tool is located in your effect tool. So if you come up to the property bar here, you can see there's a lot of different tools, but the dodge and burn tool is the one we're going to use today. And this is your brush size. <clears throat> I'm going to use one with a gradient edge and a nib size of about 100. That's the brush size is your nib size. Uh, the mode is going to be normal. Intensity, you control how much um, of a change you can make with each click. And uh, this is about in the middle. I don't want to do a huge change with each click, so we're going to do incremental clicks. This has a transparency option. There's also anti-aliasing, uh, which I would recommend you keep on. 
to avoid jagged edges. This is a pen pressure tool. We're not using a pen, so we're just using our mouse. So this will be something we don't won't, won't be applicable in this uh, in this project. Okay, so we have our we have our tool. I'm going to just show you quickly what this does. If I move over the plane's wing, you can see it's highlighting it. Okay, so I'm going to undo that, which is Control Z. I'm actually, what I want to do is darken some areas. So I'm actually going to invert this. We go to Image, Transform, Invert Colors. Okay, so now what I use the, now when I use the Dodge and Burn, I'm actually highlighting or burning areas, and I'll show you that effect when we invert the colors again. So I'm going to go around the tail section here kind of around the edges of the plane and around the windows. Darken those up a little bit. Okay, so now let's go back to Image, Transform, Invert. And you can see we've darkened up some of those areas. I'm going to bring in the background so you can see, see what that looks like now against the background. So you can see it's been, uh, we've added some contrast. We've also burned a few areas and we've changed it so that the plane is now uh, a little easier to see against the background. I'm also going to adjust the brightness and contrast overall to just the plane. And click OK. Now the background, since these are both uh, your backgrounds, one is just a copy of another, so I'm going to use this uh, this background layer here, and I'm going to change the uh, I'm going to change the contrast to that. Go to adjust brightness contrast. Oh, and then we also have to remove the masking when we do this. So uh, you can go up here and just uh, click on this option here to remove mask. Now we're on the object layer. Back to my adjust brightness okay so now we're adjusting just the background okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit here okay now if you want to see what the difference is I'm going to keep the plane highlighted and we're going to remove this one from a view. So now you can see what the original background looked like. Bring the background back in. You can see the change that it's made. Now if I remove both the plane and the adjusted contrast layer, you can see that what the original photo looked like. Bring back the plane and the background. So a much better folder photo overall. And we had the nice uh, control over our dodge and burn to, to highlight and dodge um, or dodge and burn areas uh, specifically within the plane. If you have any more questions, contact JDS Industries at 800-843-8853.